Behind the many symbols on this campus, there is an idea. It's the idea that Princeton stands for in American education. The idea that a university is a place where men of learning believe in young men of ambition and are given the opportunity to start them on their way. I'm Detective John Redding of the Princeton Borough Police Department, Mercer County, New Jersey. I intend to ask you questions about you fraudulently entering Princeton University while using a fictitious name and date of birth. What is your full name and age? James Arthur Hope, 31. Under what name did you make the application at Princeton University? I made it under Alexi Santana. Where did you uh, obtain that name? I made that name up. For what purpose? Um, because I wanted to uh, start all over again without any burdens of my past. The 31-year-old parole violator who changed his name, wrote himself an exotic resume, and gained admission to Princeton University was arraigned today on a number of charges, including theft. We've been fooled, certainly. Five years before he conned his way into Princeton University, James Hogue pulled a similar scam at my high school in Palo Alto, California. He told us his name was Jay Huntsman and that he'd grown up on a commune in Nevada, and we believed him. Since that time, Hogue's story has always intrigued me. 